Okay, you guys, today's big project day. Um, one of my beds, actually a lot of my beds are losing integrity at the seams. So we're gonna redo this bed. See, the end fell off. It's kind of pretty rotted. So we're gonna redo this one, put some fresh wood on it, and then we're gonna redo this one because the corners are kind of coming, coming undone. So we're gonna get a fresh new wood on this one too. I thought I could probably do this myself, but a fisherman is gonna come to my rescue and help me out here. So today is big garden project day, just in time before fall crops go in. It reminds me of the beginning. Um, it was quite something. <laughs> I kept going down the hallway saying, I'm a front yard gardener. I can't believe I'm a front yard gardener. And I walk out my front door and sit and have a cup of coffee and just look at it. I just, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it actually all came to fruition. <laughs> And I have a lot of people to thank for that. The people who sponsored me, thank you guys. And my friend Sam, who did a lot of the fence building, my night and baseball cap and jeans, and my boys. They did so much to get this front yard garden started. So, and as always, I thank my father in heaven. This was his idea. We were not meeting our food needs, and he said, let's grow it. I thought it was crazy, but I really love it. I'm glad he had that idea. What I was really asking for was for him to increase my husband's salary. I said, just increase his salary by a bit and we'll be able to afford food. And he said, you know, no, let's grow it. And boy, I'm so glad he took a different route because this has been so rewarding for me. And even writing and sharing with the others, he said, let's share it. I was like, really? I've never done anything like that before. He said, let's film it. Really? I've never done a YouTube video before. So. I'm just so glad he set, set me on this path instead of the easy path that I chose because it has been so fulfilling. And I, I hope, I think it inspires others to, uh, to do this themselves and to grow their own food. And um, it's just been a rewarding experience. So thanks everybody for my front yard garden. I'm loving it. Well, it helps if you have the right drill bit. <laughs> we were really, we were really struggling because we didn't have the square drill bit. So anyway, so now we've got it. Things are going better. But um, I wanted to tell you guys that this time I did these little braces in the corners, and that helped tremendously. All my beds that are coming apart do not have these braces, and all the ones that do have the braces are doing a lot better. So be sure to include the braces if you do raise beds. Ah, oh, that is going so much better. I wish we'd had that in the first place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna back in. All right, you turn. Will you be able to walk on yeah. I can be coordinated. Okay. I have a little work to do on the edges. But that's good. I just have to scoot some of the earth out of the way. 
into the middle kind of so to make room for the edges almost done with one bed <laughs> Okay, definitely not my favorite part of growing my own food. <laughs> I am hot, it's almost 100 degrees out here. I'm exhausted, but I'm almost done. Uh, and this bed kind of reminds me though, as I'm digging, I'm thinking about when the garden was first created and I could not afford the wood for a, a lot, you know, for four raised beds here. So I asked for some friends of mine to sponsor me and I gave them vegetables every other week, a bag of vegetables and eggs, and they paid me up front. I got them, it was like $150. No, it's like $100, I think, um, they paid me. And so I gave each family a bag of vegetables every other week and eggs. And um, that was so cool, because they wanted to help, they wanted to be a part of the garden, and, um, and they got good organic fresh vegetables so if you can't afford to start a garden you know don't be overwhelmed do it one step at a time I did one half of my garden and then the next year I did the other half and like I said people sponsored me so you know ask ask and see if anybody interested in sponsoring you and I was already making vegetables in this half of my garden that I could give them um, that I could harvest and give them so that I could have the money to build this half of the garden and to fill the beds. So. One new raised bed. Whew, that was a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. When you say, oh, I'll just replace a couple beds. It sounds so easy, just that one sentence. <laughs> but on fast forward, you guys, you guys watch on fast forward, so it probably seemed a lot easier to you. <laughs> but to me, it was a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Probably because it's so hot out here. Anyway, I'm going in. I just encourage you, if you have a problem, like we did, we could not meet our food needs then instead of trying to fix it yourself, go to your father and pray and listen and see what solution he comes up with because he might come up with something that's totally out of the little box that we put him in and come up with something amazing like this. <laughs> 